Switching to an insulin pump was a big deal for me. And there were three things I learned, three mistakes I made I wanna share with you so that you don't make these same mistakes. Number one is the tubing was too short. You can't go to the bathroom without removing your insulin pump. I think it's too short. Tubing comes in many different sizes. Two, expecting that I would learn my insulin pump overnight and it would learn me overnight. A lot of insulin pumps take time to learn you and it certainly takes time to learn how to use an insulin pump. The first time you cooked an egg, did you burn it? The first time you rode a bike, did you fall off? Have patience with yourself. It takes time and practice. The number three mistake I made when switching to an insulin pump is assuming that the amount of insulin I would need at mealtime would be the same as before I had an insulin pump. This is not true at all, was not true at all for me. It's not one-to-one. -one. Uh, there's no basal background long-acting insulin. There is only short-acting insulin, which, which the insulin pump gives you continuously, but it will give you less insulin or more insulin based on many different factors. So. I had to get used to a bigger bolus at mealtime, which can be scary. A bonus fourth thing that I learned uh, was that I should have not uh, waited so long to order insulin pump supplies. So I bought the insulin pump. I made this big decision to buy it and I put it in my closet because I had three months before my insulin pump training appointment. And I did not wanna have to think about switching to an insulin pump. What I should have done is I should have ordered the supplies for my insulin pump as soon as my insurance allowed me to, and that way I could have stocked up on the supplies, the sensors, the infusion sets, the tubing, the reservoirs, all these supplies, the insurance company limits when you can order them. Even though I didn't want to think about insulin pump, I should have ordered the supplies 